to a corn friend edition of Guy Party. This is beautiful Brad. This is Michael Benjamin. This is Chester. <laughs> <laughs> and why we're laughing right there is because we got crickets back and you know he, he doesn't really speak much so if you hear somebody grumbling in the background that's totally crickets. It's been a while MB. What, what have you been up to? How you been uh, doing the quarantine man? Well I've kind of uh, been pretty passive. Passive? Uh, by passive, I mean, like, passively wondering which day I'll die. If I wake up in the morning, I guess it's, a uh, I'm alive, because it's a wonderful life, right? What do you Have feel you about that, Have you been diagnosed yet, or? <laughs> See, the thing is, they say they'll pay me more money if I can prove that I've, uh, successfully gotten rid of COVID, but I can't, like, just give them the test results, or then they probably would put me in jail or prison or in a lab somewhere i feel like we were hitting on like when it first got going that you might have been like an original carrier yeah and patient zero <laughs> yeah that's what it was <laughs> and, that's, and that's the thing though that i can't prove to them that you know i'm worth their while because well how like if you were patient zero how do you think you contracted it have you been to a Chinese wet market? <laughs> Damn it. An Indiana wet market. So, <laughs> what do you qualify wet? I got wet. Biting bats? I got, <laughs> I got wet by a Chinese person, but I don't know if it was a market quote per se. D- did you get peed on by a Chinese man? Well, I mean, I by don't Chinaman? In this, Chinaman? In this new day and age. I don't know if it was a man or not, to be honest. Yeah, they, don't they say Asians aren't uh, aren't the most well hung people? So it could have easily been a so you got peed on by a, chi- a Chinese tranny. Pick one of the three: woman, man, <laughs> tranny. Who knows? Guy I don't even know. All I know is it, it, it cleansed me of. So it could have been and, like a really big clit or a really small dick. You're not sure. Yes, and it, it was it was one of the best trips I've ever had in my life. Right on. Yeah. So. You're in the labs a lot right now because they're testing you. That's pretty much what's been going on a lot, and that's why I've tried to have been silent. And actually, I couldn't know exa- let you know exactly what's been going on. Classified. I, I, out of not even just fear of my own life, but out of fear of your lives. They pretty much. Uh, so they've been testing your blood and shit. Yeah, pretty have, much. Have they found the cure for AIDS? No, because they don't want that. They don't want a cure for AIDS. That's true. They don't want they that at all. That. Come on, but well, that exists. Do they really? Yeah, absolutely. Look at Magic Johnson. He's a billionaire, so that's why he's still alive. That's right. Fucking Easy E was only a multi-millionaire, so he had to die. That's all you got to do. And is he, <laughs> and he said, "Fuck the police." Yeah, that's yeah, it. Exactly. <laughs> Magic Johnson wears uh, Blue Lives Matter shirts everywhere he goes. So, I don't know. Every day has been been a new, new, cool adventure. You know, been interesting watching everyone go crazy, but at the same time, also me go crazy at the same time by everyone else going crazy and it's like well you quit going so crazy all you gotta do is be like me man well it's, it's good to have everyone back we're, we're back in full force um we got a new weekly uh guy party get together so hopefully we're gonna be start bringing you guys shit more frequently so yeah i mean what's been going on in the world uh, obviously a lot of rioting um fucking I don't know. Do you guys want to touch on that at all? Actually, I, I do oh, want to bring up one, one, just one thing that I found really hilarious, but also irresponsible at the same time. That Starbucks uh, came out with their uh, nationwide, or even maybe uh, I don't know if I guess it would just be nationwide, not worldwide. But it was an email or whatever that was sent out to everybody that you're not allowed to wear like Black Lives Matter like uh, supportive uh, attire at all. But you can wear LGBTQ plus supportive stuff. It is Pride Month. Yeah, I know, and I get that, and I agree with it. But they are the blacks they, stealing the thunder they, from the gays. Well, <laughs> and that's that's kind of where I'm gonna go with this. But they were saying <laughs> that their their reasoning, which I understand to an extent, is that they didn't want to. They they thought if, if <laughs> it could it could raise like some type of like hostile people to come in that are against all that movement. In support of Black Lives Matter. So, so you're saying blacks hate gays, or gays hate blacks? Or, or I'm saying that why would Starbucks support LGBTQ plus people? So, but not because they black buy more Lives coffee. Matter? Well, most <clears throat> black people only have spare change. But their their reasoning was trying to say, <laughs> I give them way more than just change. <laughs> they were trying to say bring a hostile people if they're against that or whatever start violence and stuff in, in their stores or whatever 
but so could LGBTQ people or, or, or people people against that. You know I what feel I mean? like LBGQ two people or whatever. Like, they're they're, they're just, big time coffee drinkers. But, yeah, but the letter community can also like the, the brothers disrupt. like Colt forty five and fucking cigarellos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying there's there's just as many people hating blacks as is there just well, well, hear, it, hear it, me hating, out on this. Hell, hating the letter community. I feel like the liquor stores probably don't let the LGBTQ in, but they let Black Lives Matters in. I don't know, but the liquor stores sell white claws. Yeah, but they hide those in the back. Depends where the liquor stores uh, at. So you're That's saying true. it's always going to be a progress for the sexuality of a uh, man, but not for the the color of man. So you see, like, a, like a liquor store next to a Starbucks, and then you see like the the pride flag on on the Starbucks window, and the <laughs> the black Black Lives Matter flag the, the on the Black uh, Panther fist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's that's interesting that Starbucks would take that stance because well, I mean they've they've been a pretty liberal well, uh, the, company. Well, the, well, because of the fact that in in the past like I don't know if it was like the past year they had instances where a whole bunch of black ladies or not black ladies white people white ladies were calling uh, the cops on black uh, people for just being in Starbucks and for no any reason of threat. Like, oh, that man can't possibly want coffee. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Why would a black person want black? Sir, stuff? we don't sell Hennessy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't this. This coffee may look like liquor, but it's not. It's called liqueur. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like, bitch, I want some calf and juice. <laughs> Fuck that gin and juice. I don't know. It just seemed kind of ass backwards for them to be so strong on that stance to make sure there's no violence going on in their stores but they're like oh, but wear whatever you want for you know the letter community yeah yeah that's interesting though because starbucks really is and uh more often than not i feel like a target of like the right conservative because they do take some controversial well what probably shouldn't be considered controversial but controversial stances like when, like or around Christmas time, when they would put a non-denominational just red cup out there instead of putting like the you know God bless Jesus cups. <laughs> God bless Jesus. <laughs> does, does is anybody allowed to do that anymore? I don't know, man. What do you mean they're allowed to do anything they want? Come on, let's what be can, real. No, you, well, look at Target. Target, the CEO of Target just came out and said after all those riots to their stores and shit, they were like, uh, "Go ahead, we don't care. We'll rebuild it." I'm in favor of the the shit that's being protested and burn it all down. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Really? I was shocked when I heard that from Target. I, I loved uh, Chester sent me this uh, message of during the looting and like all the black people went in and got like the essentials and then you see this white guy running out with a Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> Let's specify. It was like a Star Wars. No, yeah, yeah. Was gonna say, not just any Lego set. A special edition Death Star. Yeah. And, like, everybody's Anywhere running else. around and he's just very casually carrying out this Lego. <laughs> like he probably went through U-Scan and bought it. <laughs> yeah, probably. No one, no, no one was near him. He's just like walking. All good. Oh yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we can't. It's not just the black people that are rioting either. There are totally white people going. Oh in there shit, and yeah. Shit I, I've seen. Um, oh yeah. That yeah. There, there's there's been a lot of white people down there fucking raising hell. But what you don't see is any Mexicans rioting. What's up with that? Because they know their lives don't matter yet. They still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> well, because all they gotta do is stick to the farms. <laughs> stick to the farms. They because they know their place. They stick to the farms, and then they'll keep on getting their revenue, keep they, on getting their money. They make good food. I'll give them that. Hell yeah, they do. Black people ha- don't may not have equality, but they have citizenship. Yeah, whereas uh, whereas the Mexican Mexicans have to work. are going to be fighting for that shit for another 50, 60 years. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Boo says we got a special guest real quick. It's Phallus Baldwin. Come here. <laughs> Interject. Come on, you know you want to start another riot. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call him a uh, Phallus Baldwin? Yeah, look for his dick on the next vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, it's all staged. Uh, how goes? Oh my god, I'm way too into the Matrix. It's fucking insane. That's why I'm talking You've about me. Been in the past. Matrix, dude. It's been driving me nuts. Everything is new. Woke is constantly being reinvented. It's called. I fucking um, hate it all. Bipolar, man. <laughs> no, it's not bipolar. That's fucking. It's called learning something and then hating it, and then learning something new and liking it, and then hating it again. It fucking sucks. 
Oh, I mean, we're we're constantly learning shit. I, I know, mean, no, but I mean, and, and, and no, just, no, I know, but the, the fact of like when you think something is right, and then you're like, what? Like this lady, for instance, that apparently has been uh, sent around being apparently a uh, crisis actor for the Vegas shooting, the Pulse nightclub shooting, the the COVID nineteen victim, and she's saying she's the second grade teacher of George Floyd, and she's been interviewed by like all these big multimedia outlets around. Well, the nation. it. it, it what the Faust Baldwin says it's staged what you need to do is start channeling your energy into better shit like growing a tomato garden no no you're drinking right. more beer totally smoke totally. more weed totally 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 finger more girls totally because at the end of the day none of this shit matters no yeah I agree because <laughs> some of it's staged and some of it's not and some of it you gotta just be able to see the blur in between the lines the blur is really what's the truth man but as far as like like stuff like woke constantly changing that's just progress. No, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Like, you look at, like, shit from our childhood, and the shit just does not Ooh. age well at all. Do you want to get into that a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking about something on the way over here, actually. Go on up. <laughs> I think it relates. So, at some point, I, I, I've mentioned this to beautiful Brad, <laughs> that... I because I, I saw it on a list of like movies that have not aged very well, and <laughs> and it made me say, "Holy fuck, we need to watch this movie." <laughs> Ernest goes to Africa. Oh my god! And I'm pretty sure at some point he put on blackface and talked in a really really terrible Indian accent. And he was getting down on his hands and knees. And like, yes, and yes, wait, yes, what? Is this the real movie? This yes. Oh yes, this Ernest. Is a, I think it might have been a VHS release, but still. <laughs> oh, dude, we're gonna have to get a VHS player and that tape. It's it's gonna oh, it's happen. On, it's on YouTube movies. Is it? Yes, so it we is. can watch it. Oh yes, we can. Booze says, "Get ready for a fucking guy party commentator on Ernest Goes to Africa." <laughs> I mean, he brought us hits like uh, "Ernest Goes to Camp," "Ernest Scared Stupid." Um, what was Ernest in the Army, dude? I mean, like he was a fucking classic character when we were young guns. Oh yeah, definitely. Right. And, and I mean, you even look at like stuff. He saved Christmas one time. I think oh, too, that's didn't right. he? Save Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You, I mean, but you even look at stuff like The Simpsons and like that a poo character. It, and I mean, and that's it, just recently that people like stopped and said that's not cool, really. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of feeding off of like some pretty bad st- Indian well, stereotypes. But at the same time, the the creator of the show explained he was just going off of the character that he knew from his local hometown. It wasn't right. like he was trying to stereotype and say that every Indian person is it just like happened this. To it just happened to be a stereotype. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, stereotypes have some basis in reality. Yeah, so like, let, why deny that reality? Like, it is what it is. Like, you'll never see a fucking white person at the local mart. If it's a BP, you might see a white there. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you talking about? I don't ever see BP being owned by white people anymore. Uh, oh, Indians and them too. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, unless they're over here on the east side, I don't. I don't know. Well, see, here on the east side, like, so you got UDF, BP, Shell. It's all whites. Oh no, no, actually, the Shell's got um, Indian people, and then all the liquor stores, Indians. So, yeah, man, they got that on fucking demand. Yeah, but I, I mean, it's that's what I'm saying. Like that, like as far as like woke is concerned, like we are evolving. Like it, even shit that we watched ten years ago, looks some of it looks really fucking bad. Like what was I watching? Oh, Rock of Love, and and that's that's just, you were watching Rock gosh. of Love. You know, it's been like done for like I don't know how many. Oh years. yeah, yeah. Um, my girlfriend started watching that again, so like I watched. <laughs> we were watching the first season of Rock of Love. With, with Brett Michaels, and man, is that sexist as fuck towards women. Dude, speaking of sexist, um, Married with Children is on Hulu. Oh my god. Oh When's god. the last time you watched Dude, that shit? That oh night. my god, it's We great. were just talking about it. it. Is so good. <laughs> Me and the coon and uh, the party man were just talking about the other night how, like, oh. it's such a great show, but also people don't realize how sexist Dude, it is. Dude, I was watching it, man. I started season one from the get go. And, like, fucking dude, it is so hardcore. It's like there's no way they'd get away with this now. He's, like, basically telling Pag to fuck off and get in the kitchen and cook yeah. him fucking dinner. Oh, yeah. And then she <laughs> gets calling, in there and... She's calling sm- women she's, fat and shit. She's like, in there smoking a cigarette and then puts the cigarette in this food. And, like, here, eat this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's like wasn't the it, like, a running, like, a running gig that he would, like, have fat women come into the shoe store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like there's no way he'd get away with that nowadays, like a show like that. Yeah. But problems I always have with that show, like, 
even like shows like Roseanne and that, like where they're like they're supposed to be like super poor, they still live in like houses. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, like yeah. they still like he lived in a two story house. Basically working at a Payless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, as far as I know, people who work at Payless shoe store make minimum wage. They're probably not even, like, in fucking Eastgate Woods apartments. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, like how, how, how were they able to afford that house? Yeah, on, she didn't on, his, on his, not his even wool, salary. Wool salary. Ragonomics, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Same thing with, like, Roseanne. Like, I mean, I appreciated Roseanne. Well, at least, they, at least they both were working, though, in Roseanne. Yeah, yeah, Roseanne did work. Yeah, there. That's true. Um, there was and incomes. Dan was like a construction worker. Yeah, and we knew some construction workers. I got some sweet ass pads. Right. I always thought that about about Mary with Children. Like, no, I mean, I know their house. It's made to look like a shitty house or whatever, but it's still a house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And she was a stay at home wife, like you know, just fucking killing it. Like, well, no, actually, she did nothing. That's and why she always wanted shit. to fuck him, but he never wanted to bang. Like, That's what I always thought was too. Like, I never got that. Her? That's like, like, never... Back then, like, recently, she is fucking smoking all Dude, she is. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I thought was hilarious. He'd fucking jerk off, like, <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> like, he just put that was the funniest part of it, I thought, was when I was a kid growing up thinking, she's a good-looking woman. Why doesn't he want to have relations with her? Right. Like, what I the fuck is this problem? I is, guess that was kind of nice this, in the way that... Is that, that his it, way of coming out? I've seen her recently. She's still fucking hot. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of nice that it kind of flips the script because so often you see, like, uh, in, in TV where it's, like, the like the woman that doesn't want to fuck, you mm-hmm. know? And, and I guess that kind of did flip that script there where the guy, for whatever reason, didn't want to fuck, but it doesn't feel realistic. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, why? Like, why was he making it out to be like it was, like, painful? Like, it was like, oh, no, she fucks me too hard. Right. It doesn't feel good anymore. I mean, dude, like, no ma'am was created from that show, and that show is no ma'am oh, yeah. as fuck. Like, all dude booze heads watch that show. It is like requirements by uh, Guy Party. Law. If you've never seen Married with Children, you're not a true booze head. And, you can go fucking die off a cliff. All seasons are on Hulu. Start from the beginning. Oh yeah. I haven't got that far into it, and I'm sure. Well, I don't know. I think they ended in the '90s, so it probably never got really tamed down. Oh, and you know they objectified the fuck out of Christina Applegate's character. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I've, I've watched her talk about the show and stuff like that, like that before because for a long time I didn't realize she had breast cancer and that she had her. Fucking tits she had cut off. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? She yeah. didn't have tits. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know and then that. she kind of felt like actually really indifferent about it all because of like how she was presented on that show. Then after going through all that shit. Oh, while she then... was on the show? No, 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 no. After much the later. show. After oh. the show. Much later after the show. Just saying, like how she reflected back on how she was, you know, the sex object on that show, and like you know her body, and she was like one of the you know America's hottest fucking celebrities at the time. No, yeah. And then she has all that stuff done there, and then but she's portrayed as like this fucking airhead, yeah. on the show, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, you look back at that like shit, just even like shit that seems kind of normal doesn't age well. I think the Simpsons thing is a good example, but it was like thirty there, years ago, so many there's so much shit that just you look back on and it does not age well. And, but it, that's just my the, my point to that is that woke is something that's a con- current, and that's what I'm saying is that woke is always a read. It's always, it should, just like science, it should always be redefined. But that said, I mean, I still think we should be able to have conversations about shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, and that's how you advance anyways, is by having conversations. You have to. That's the only way science and progress gets worked out. Guy party. Pizza. Pepperoni and bacon, specifically. From Jets, actually, with Turbo Crust. Dipped in nice uh, pussy juices, mm-hmm. like as a, as a side dipping sauce. Is the most scrumptious thing in the world. I don't know why we don't dip or even associate or combine foods with sexual fluids more than we do at all. Because I don't know of anyone that does that. I mean, that you don't see it in porn. Because apparently, you can't bring food into the bedroom. It's illegal, as George Costanza proved. I, I mean, but, could, could you get, like, USDA approval on that one? I for, like, definitely could for like, like I'll write like my a, congressman like a like a steak of like a ribeye soaked in, in vegetable juices yeah yeah is it illegal though why would it be illegal I don't know why do we got to write a congressman to get a fucking steak well, soaked in vegetable juices so I was just thinking uh, that's what you needed to do yeah I guess if you want to mass market it 
I'm just would saying. You want to mass market it? You don't, or would you you don't open even up like a niche. You don't restaurant? even. You don't even see a niche anywhere in any of the any of the porn videos or anything. There's not a. There's not a. There's everything you could possibly imagine within the porn categories, but food with with sex. So if you, I've gonna, seen I've seen videos of a girl sitting on a meatloaf and then farting. You sure that was a meatloaf? And and then, <laughs> and then they eat the, and then they eat the meatloaf. So. I, and I think that's, that's that's really common with cakes. I think meatloaf is more, is a very specific niche uh, of that genre, but cake farts, that's very common. So yeah. if you're gonna mass market putting meat in like vaginal juice, so like it's hitting all the local stores, and you got like hot dog packages that are in like you know <laughs> dipped I think in it's vaginal local. juice. I think this is a Jungle Gems product. You think so? <laughs> yeah, this whoa, is a whoa, specialty whoa, whoa. market kind of place. Well, so, but I want to mass market it. Do you get white chicks to fucking do that kind of stuff, or who do you hire to do that? I don't. Um, old chicks in senior citizen facilities. <laughs> old chicks. At I, this I, point, I, can you call them chicks if they're old? I don't know. Like, do you I think put, you a, need pic- call them old do you put a picture on the package of the woman's juices, like who are in there? So you absolutely not. I mean, it's just kind of like calling the fucking sex hotline. So you never fucking put who's really talking to you. No, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's just, why you put a picture of a hot twenty-one-year-old and then you give the juices of an eighty-year-old. I, I feel like just based on like how a lot of our products are received from like out of the country, I feel like you would probably get like hot dogs soaked in like. Vietnamese pussy juice. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, because yes. we, yes. we, we, we gotta we gotta work it like the Nike line. I mean, that's a lot of masturbating. Like, and well, how do you do shit? It's gotta be sweatshops. Well, yeah, what, sweatshops. What you... But I mean, eventually they gotta get like chafed and all fucking like. It's eventually gonna be blood if they're finger fucking themselves that much, right? So fair enough. Like you gotta Wait, do what? certain really? like Why? four tens or like three shifts of twelve or like how do you do that or do you only do certain shifts? Let, let's figure out the shifts to mass produce fucking vaginal covered hot dogs i don't know i, I think you have to have specifically <laughs> like like talented people like i, I think you have think to go through so an funny. interview process where like can you come with a lot of like liquid maybe like have you ever seen the, that porn with those machines that kind of like fuck them with a dildo and it's yes. like like a press that's like yeah you don't see them getting chased all over the place yes you don't see them getting chased chafed right yeah um, but we've only saw like that a few minute clip that they're true. not doing and, and it for an eight the, hour and shift and we see the experts like, yeah we're, we're not we're, not, we're see- not seeing the amateurs right we're, we're seeing the a-team but yeah, yeah. we're not we're not seeing a backdoor so is it kind of we're not like seeing a, a backdoor a chicken fun. coop where they all like bend over and then they got these fucking horse machines, like, like these <laughs> machines just <laughs> boom boom yeah, boom yeah, boom yeah. come boom boom it's gonna be an assembly line kind of thing yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what have i been saying from day one is that come and pussy juice <laughs> they're like very vital for like health that cum has got so many benefits got so much good protein in it it could be good for men and women and then the same thing with the pussy juices or even the period blood if you want to go as far as that and say that it's got a lot of minerals in there too so you could package it as like a vitamin water almost like yes, a vitamin exactly. hot dog just I don't mean, tell them exactly what's in it because then they may not want to drink it you could even like put this on places where you know, like maybe like like a, a like a really poor community community that doesn't have a lot of marketable like uh, exports. Fuck, no, no, fuck that. The poor community. I think like, the rich like, need um, to be paying for like, it. Like somewhere places, in Idaho. Well, 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 they have potatoes, but like, like but places, they're the I'm hoe. Of like places like in Africa where they don't have farms and they don't really have any exports like to generate like money. Yeah, yeah. Like now, now their exports can be their women's pussy juices <laughs> and, and period bloods. But I'm saying the rich are going to be the ones going to be paying for that shit because it's a delicacy. Oh, okay. So you're not imagining. See, you're you're thinking I, mass production. I'm going production. mass production. You're thinking delicacy. Yeah. A delicacy, then you kind of take out the uh, no, I mass want ma- production I want mass factory. production, too. I think but there's a, different I think grades. As as, there's, fair enough. There's I different think, grades. I think for delicacy, maybe you could even like go with celebrity pussy juices. Exactly. Now you're thinking outside like, the box. Like, kind of like how you pay like an extraordinary amount for like Kobe beef, you know? Yes. Like, you would pay, like, God, like probably thousands and thousands of dollars for... Like meat soaked in Scarlett Johansson's pussy juice. That's what I'm saying because I've had it before. It's called bird. Uh, well, not that, but not Scarlett Johansson's. I wish I, I didn't had think that. you had. Yeah, you wouldn't even believe me if you no, even tried I, it. I, you I were really like, wouldn't. "Dude, I would never believe you. You would never make me believe you've had Scarlett Johansson's uh-huh. pussy juices in your mouth." Uh, anyway, 
bird's nest soup. They're, it's bird's nest saliva, basically, because they build their nest out of their saliva in these caves that are like some hundreds of thousands or whatever miles up in the mountains. And they go and they fucking climb up there and they get this these nests and then they sell it to these rich people that'll uh, mm. that'll eat it and drink it for you know. It's I, like there's a coffee bean where like a, a cat eats it and shits it out and it sells for like yeah. crazy. Uh, what is that? What is that called again? Kakalua or some yeah, shit? Yeah, I don't Something even know. Something like that. No, no, you're talking. About, it's supposed to be the most pristine fucking coffee because the way the, the ca- that monkey cat or whatever monkey digests cat. the bean and after it's digested it makes it a really awesome caffeine or something. I don't know why but when you're talking about the bird's nest thing I just imagined you climbing a tree and raiding a bird's nest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And it made me laugh in my head because I just imagine you like, like feasting off the eggs of a bird's nest. I mean it, I would do that but I wouldn't climb that high yeah. just for a bird's nest when... There's all these rats down here. We can fucking but, eat. yeah, I mean, maybe there's a market for something like that. I don't know, man. But why isn't there already some kind of niche in the porn industry, though, for them, like, putting cum on pizza or burritos oh, or I something? Oh, I thought there's, like, there's, there's a thing where, like, girls sit on cakes. And they then sit they, on cakes. Yep, and then they fart. And then so you see the icing kind of, like, explode out of their buttholes. Mm. <laughs> okay, I guess that would be pretty that's, that's interesting really to watch that. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not cum, but it's got something to do with I, I've seen, like, girls have, like, milk enemas and shit like that, where, like, get the milk squirted up there, and then they fart it out. Yeah, I watched a German porn once where they uh, stuck an enema up his ass, and then he fucking shit out, like, this piece of bologna, and they were in a bathtub, and then this bitch picked up the piece of bologna and fucking ate it. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Good Germans. Why, yeah, I mean, why, I say if it's, yeah, I guess it is German. I say if it's German, go all the way and well, do a bratwurst. My buddies picked it up. There was this old uh, concert. It was um, Milwaukee Metal Fest, and you know it's just like all these metal bands that came in and they they found this fucking tape in one of the vendors' things called Shiza. Shiza means shit in fucking yeah, German. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. What is it called? A uh, tour? It wasn't a tour. It was a goddamn concert. Con- concert. Um, Milwaukee festival. Metal festival. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, Jesus Christ, I've been drinking too much. Um, mm-hmm. So this festival had a lot of fucking like Norwegian bands and shit like that came from Europe. So they brought that shit over with them and sold it. But yeah, yeah, dude, it was the sickest shit I ever saw. Do you feel like Hitler would be pretty proud of German Germany's like legacy now? Like, no. now that they're known for just, like, hardcore porn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he would. I don't think he'd be proud at all. He'd be pretty pissed off. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they're, like, one of the world leaders of, like, innovation and shit for, like, climate change Oh, no, and they shit. are. Yeah, yeah. Well, what really pissed me off, though, not trying to get too political, but... but it's not they, political. It's just that Well, no, country. what they did, though, recently, like, a year ago, the, they elected to destroy all their nuclear power plants. Germany. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? They could do, like, what France is doing. France is the leading uh, motherfucker in the entire world of nuclear power plants and reusing all their nuclear waste. Never sending it out to the ocean or putting it in fucking the ground or anything like that. I don't know. Germany, I thought, would have been on the same boat, power plants, but I guess I'm wrong on that. Maybe a Jew's their leader. (laughs) (laughs) They should. Like, after the Holocaust... Like Germany should have like nothing but Jewish people. Oh, to, absolutely. To leadership. Just, yeah. just, just to have Hitler turning in his fucking grave. <laughs> you know, we didn't actually kill Hitler. He killed himself, so he won in the end. But there, there's some shit. Like, did he actually even kill himself? I know. Did don't he, even get me started. Did he end up in South America or something? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. That shit. I don't know. I mean, they never had a body. I think they had DNA the, tests uh, back then. Just like I feel like have after guys- we won the Civil War. Like the Union won the Civil War, we should have had like nothing but black presidents after that, just to piss off the South. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick Douglass, are the first fucking black president. Yeah, you imagine? Like, like just a, just all of them, just fucking black presidents. Like to the point where white people today would be like, "Man, we're we don't even have a hey, chance." I'm just gonna throw this out here, and it's probably gonna be contrarian racist, but like, all right, black lives do matter, and how many uh, Union soldiers died for black lives? So. <laughs> Just as matter as many as the black lives that died for fighting for the South, and black lives died in slavery and shit. Yeah, I mean, well, that's when the tides turn. That's what I'm saying. After the war, my my whole opinion of it is is like, you know what? Black people have suffered so much at the hand of white oppressors that if your fucking way of of like getting that out is to go to a Target, fucking do it. Like, take the target. Take all the target. Like, as far as I'm concerned, 
we should do a thing with black people where we give them like almost like a almost like a game show where we give them like 60 seconds in the store of their choice mm-hmm. to take whatever <laughs> they want and it almost be like that show supermarket sweep where they run through with like a shopping cart and like they can pick target and they can pick like nike or like whatever and they get to run through and take whatever they want anybody who's who has african who's african-american or african-american descent qualifies no, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you bring up the uh, the white people that fought for the end slavery in the Union because they were proud to do that shit. They weren't like, I mean, yeah, they may not want to go to war. No one wants to go to war, but it's for a good cause that some people are willing to light in our lives. Because I was just talking about this the other day with a couple buddies about World War Two, that we wouldn't have been in that fucking war if it wasn't for the Japanese fucking bombing us at Pearl Harbor. We didn't give a fuck what was going on over in Europe. We weren't. No, the, we weren't the we police. We gave a fuck because we were like helping. We knew that there, there's we conspiracy that theories that they knew the Japs were going to come bomb them because we knew like if we didn't go take out the Germans, uh, shit, they would have been. They would have been so big that they yeah, been, they would have been we best than us. Yeah. If, 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 well, I know there's I, I, I a lot that, of reluctancy but, though to, but for the us point, to get into like, it was like because, among the public. Well, well but the point I'm making though is that so we just came out of the Great Depression and we had World War One and yeah they they didn't want to do it they but, they didn't want to go fight. But that the point I'm making though is that back then it was still like segregation and blacks fighting by themselves in World War Two that they weren't we weren't getting it to, to, to save the Jews we were getting it to, to stop Hitler because we knew how powerful he get. It was about power, not about discrimination or not about killing or genocide or anything like that it was all about just trying to make sure America was number one power and no one was I, I don't agree with down. that I feel like they, they knew like cause dude Russia came up and we had the cold war cause Russia was just as powerful as us I know but I'm saying that there was still a lot of racism and a lot of people hating on Jews and blacks back then where there was laws where they couldn't meet in the same area and all that sure, stuff sure yeah I mean, that's what I'm saying most of the white and people Asians, white don't guys, forget about the Asian yeah, like, fucking yeah, camps yeah, and all that shit that was going on, they were still, it was all white power still in just about the majority of the world. That, that was also 80 years ago. Like, we've came a long fucking way That's since what I'm then. saying, though. I'm not trying to bring down World War II vets, but let's still think of what it was like back then. Just like, it's all about generational, you know, circumstances. The Once again, it goes back to woke is determined based on the generation at that current stage in life in the world that we're, you know, trying to say, hey, look at this. Hey, I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. Yeah. Sure, be woke question things but there's sometimes where woke bullshit it just goes back to some guy sitting in a fucking basement that doesn't have a job that can just stay woke i mean i don't like i get it like well that's what i'm saying you you can't just say this is woke today but then okay what is it tomorrow what is the next thing yeah, it's, it's going it's to never evolve. the same thing i, I mean it's never the there, same there's going to get to a point where because i mean we're all in our 30s now there's going to get to a point where like even like 10 20 30 years from now like our views are going to be considered fucking not woke as fuck. Like, like we're going to be looked at as like being either racist or sexist. And but I, I would hope, I would hope that we stay open minded enough to change with the times. I, I just, I, I feel like if I hope if I do. my views are right now racist or sexist, uh, I'll be fucking glad to be dead whenever mm. that changes because like, I just know there's shit that I laughed at like 10 to 15 years ago that I look back at now and say, hey, damn, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> but was it something that was comedic or was it something jeopardizing somebody's fucking well-being or life? I don't know. I, I and, and I can't think of a specific example offhand. I wish I could. Cause I, but I, I mean... I've never been okay with jeopardizing somebody's well-being. But, you know, like, if I can't say certain things just because I want to crack a fucking joke, fucking kill me already, man. You well, know? that's the part of it, is it being woke enough to laugh at yourself and laugh at the whole world and not think that, hey, this isn't just you that's in this it's all of us in this together and that we all have the same most of us have about the same core values and virtues of enjoy life and be happy and get drunk and grow our own food or whatever the fuck it is just to make life easier instead of being a slave to the goddamn dollar or the currency that we're all fucking but, stuck but in we always will be there, I everyone's, know, man. I mean, you never know 40, but, but 50 you, years you, from now you gotta think about it too though like and I get that. I'll admit I'm a slave to the fucking dollar bill. We all are. But at everybody the same is. time... Well, maybe not everybody. So the dollar bill fucking gives you shelter, gives you food. I know, but... But when there was Indians, they were slaves to living as well. Yeah, they didn't have a dollar bill, but they still had to go fucking work to eat. Yeah, to but fucking at, least they had that, at least they had that, though, where they were like, it was all on them. Had but it's all it on us else. now. You to know? an extent, I get what you're saying. It's just that it feels like... 
with the with the way the corporations are run, the the big corporations, the ones that mainly own a lot of the world, that it feels like they're able to manipulate us easier to like where we have to work this overtime because if we don't, then we're gonna basically we won't live next week or the next month. Or I something. mean, you know, I agree Whereas, with that, but it, think about someone who truly lives off the land, who has their own water source, who has their own food source, and someone who has their own electrical source if they need it. Or people whatever. do that; they're called hobos. I know, and it's awesome. They don't even have to be a hobo like living off the streets. You can be having a cabin in the woods just by yourself. Fuck yeah! I interacting mean, interacting with look social how much land there is. society Shit. when you need to. I go move down in the Everglades and live off fucking alligator meat and build fires. I still yeah. have to fucking and, get up and work. And, I know, and but here's the difference though. You, you don't have to be against society when you're doing that. Whereas what we're doing here, if, if we don't work for the man, then we're looked at as going against society and not contributing like we should be. Where it shouldn't be like that. It's, it, we're contributing for ourselves. And I understand what you're saying, but it goes back to primitive time. Like you have to contribute to survive. Oh no, and that's and why I it's agree. Just, it's altered. To where, I'd rather fucking like do my shitty forty hour a week job than have to like go out and like clobber an animal yeah and, and, until like, and, and like fend for like my, my meal every day and we, have to worry about that shit. Exactly and I understand, I agree. And we have awesome drugs now too. Yeah. And we, we got air conditioning. Yeah, awesome <laughs> drugs and air conditioning to get through it. I understand I guess I'm thinking of like what possible other way could we make it to where it'd be easier for humans to exist without it feeling like we're being like subjugated towards some kind of oppression robots. from the from that's the ultimate it. Owners. robots. <laughs> I mean <laughs> that's it. I know, I know that's what I that's what I've been thinking the, for a long time. The robots are going to take all our jobs one day mm. and put the corporations as long as, as long as we don't end up on the streets like as long as like there, there's, it comes to a point where robots do all the work to the point where we can just uh, like freedom of work but see i, feel but I don't like, think that's gonna happen it's not yeah. because like when the robots take over somebody owns those robots right. so if those robots are providing for not us unless they've went uh, guess what we're slaves to the man again there's there's not going to be like a star trek kind of uh utopia where Never. you don't have money like, like that's that's the thing in Star Trek where people don't have money, but it's like, how does that work? Cause yeah, like, yeah. They like, don't explain what's it the because incentive there is no to build way the to robots and keep the factories running? Right. Who cleans the toilets and shit like that? I mean, I know the robots probably do. They or whatever, clean themselves because they're AI bathrooms. But yeah, like you said, like at the end of the day, some humans got to take the shitty job, and who's going to do that when? You don't have to. Exactly. I mean, that's why people get up and go to work. It's an incentive to the, better yourself and do and fucking... And at the same well, time, I, like, I at like that had, point, like, how do you, how do you de- designate who gets what piece of land? Like, if you don't have... If there's no money involved, like, how can you say, like, I'm going to take this house now? Like, well, it, see, in our society, you would buy the house, but it's like... Yeah, and, and it's because you work for the house. That's how you well, bought the Well, you work for your money, yeah. I yeah. Mean, and you buy the house. But, like, but, like, in a society without money, how do you get a house? Danger! Danger! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's off. All right, so, so obviously they're, we're not going to have houses, and then on top of that, we're if houses. we're if we're not working, like wait till December. I guarantee you, statistics in five years, it's going to be a huge baby boom because we all sat around quarantine getting oh, government sure. checks. For so sure. if that happens, there's gonna the world population is going to increase so fucking much. They'll probably blow, bulldoze shit down like this and just build like. Have you seen Ready Player One where they're oh, just... Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. that's what it's going to be. Yeah. I guarantee fucking see it. It's not going to be in our lifetime. And then at that point, though, just like in Ready Player One, it was the people who owned the majas- majas- yes. the yeah. mass majority of land that's that I- could just build whatever. And then, like, here you go. Here's we, your little plot. It's back to slavery. We're slaves yeah. to the person that provides. And that's what I'm saying. How do we get out of it? We that never will. That's, we're always going to be slaves to our desires, first and foremost. And that's why I say the only way we can so we, the only way we can be so so woke is by only being like slave to our desires, not not their desires. Or our, but that's, that's where I'm at now. Like I go to work to feed my desires. Yeah, like, and, and yeah, because you so, have to. You have no other choice. So you can right have now. money for booze unless you change drugs. Unless, there's no drugs, animals. Inter- sex internet connection Inter- so you can like look at porn and jerk off yeah yeah. yeah. and those desires could change though is what I'm saying so free that drugs way. I'm not saying there, it but yes I'm there, saying will, there will never be a society where shit is free everything comes at a cost I'm not saying free maybe uh, to a way where it's say say a community okay there's communities out there that are like oh what do you call that with like the hippies that do it in like communes communes yeah, yeah. you still work. have to work you they, have to work yeah, yeah. You put oh, in, yeah they right. get up and work the fucking garden and, and that goes back to the what do you put into society does everyone have to put something in society to receive it 
Or, but they're okay with living in huts without AC. Like Chester said, yeah. I want my fucking... You want AC. I want, well, I want my drugs. I want that. You want that. So, I want drugs. I want AC. I want baloney. Yeah. <laughs> I want Shout baloney. out to baloney, man. <laughs> <laughs> baloney, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I know. I believe it. I think about this every fucking day. Like, how much could we change, or how could we change certain things for people in the world to make it easier, but, to make it not feel like that the owners of the world are actually controlling us to just to do what they want us to do for them to earn more money? Have we built a world though to where we are so dependent on these conveniences that we're willing to accept this level of? Control. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, because with the sugar and the alcohol and the addiction to whatever other fucking things that we like in this life. It goes back to primitives, and we we see it in our social groups. There's always going to be an alpha. You see it in apes. You see it in fucking tortoises. I got alpha tortoises over there that fucking run the show. The alpha. There's always going to be somebody that fucking runs the goddamn show, and the fucking worker bees are going to work. Bees? Yeah, bees are... You got the queen, you got the workers. I mean, dude, it's just... Part of human fucking but nature. That's what I'm you saying, gotta with, fucking with those, work with those, towards the man to provide. But I, but those, no, but but I feel like bees, in human those, society, we're advanced enough. The queen bee is a hoarding over the uh, uh, worker well, bees, like, like honey. Though, I, in I our honestly, society. I want to know, like, but a, you don't necessarily see like, the alpha. I would be willing to bet that there's an alpha, can, like, like a puppeteer. That we don't even know about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's the crazy part about it. No matter what kind of politics you have in this world, most of us can uh, agree that there's some a lot of shit going on behind curtains that we don't see that we wish we could see. Absolutely. Like you, look like, you look like a dude like Trump, and you feel like he's like like maybe a guy pushing a lot of the buttons. But I must guarantee you that he's being controlled by somebody else. Oh, yeah. All the time. Well, people, it's lobbyists. And the lobbyists, somebody controls well, the lobbyists. Well, even further than that, people said, okay, I don't know how much true it is. Back in 1989, Trump registered for bankruptcy and that he was bought Thanks. out by the Rothschilds that helped him get out of his financial troubles with the, the casinos at um, Atlantic City or whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's just one instance. I'm not saying Trump's just one guy. This this could happen to so many other millionaires and billionaires that are being bought out by these other trillionaires like the Rothschilds that are controlling so many by the all Bank right. of England and all this shit. With, with that statement right there, you know what really controls that? Well, I guess it kind of goes back to what we were talking about. Having a tape of you getting pissed on by a hooker? <laughs> <laughs> the, do- the dollar bill owns everyone. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why currency but, but break- should be dismantled. I, I mean, should and we the be barter offended? system should come back. But then, you, like Chester said earlier, you, there's no incentive to go to work. Like, well, I'm not going to go scrub a fucking... Yeah, there is, because you, you got to live, and if you don't want to live, then you're going to die. How do you tell me that you're the scientist, and i got to go fucking pick up your cheese it wrappers i ain't doing it fuck it because there ain't no Cheez-It goddamn wrappers. What? There, mm-hmm. there, there's no incentive to, like, there's no money i could sit on my ass and not do well, shit well i know but that's why i'm saying it. before there was money there were still people that were working to live because they wanted to live well before there was currency there was a barter system that's what i just and, said and, and the barter system depended upon you trading goods or services for other goods or services and how did you get the goods or services by, by making for it. things yeah so, so I and mean, everyone had a certain skill trade or maybe they did something for someone or they had a business of some sort and i think that's where it goes i think it's more about the small businesses and the small communities than these big corporations that are owning more of the majority that can kind of control more of the currency well you like to think so but then you have something like this come out and the only one the, the small businesses and shit that's die not, out. I know, I know, but how fair was it for the small businesses to have to fucking shut down during COVID-19? But that's the big I mean. businesses like Walmart that fucking were, are one big Petri dish all the fucking time, and it's okay. I mean, if there is a... We cons- get shit from them uh, from China all the time. If there is a COVID-19 conspiracy that this is like somehow man-made or manufactured, why wouldn't it be the big, the big businesses trying to just put the boot on the small businesses and eliminate them? Because they know that they can survive and the small businesses can't. Like what? Maybe that was a manufactured thing to bleed out the small businesses. That's what I mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I mean. That, that if, if, there is a, if there really is a conspiracy to, to buy into, why not that one? Yeah, that that yeah. it's big businesses trying to kill small businesses. No doubt. That's that's a great or maybe fucking theory. Well, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the man. But I, I feel like fucking uh, Corona is something manufactured by China to try to fucking. They're not liking what Trump says, so they're trying to sabotage. Yeah, and mm. his election, his the economy. It's all con- it's it's all that. It's everything combined. It's election year. Everything, all hands the, on deck. I mean, I got to tell you that if anybody's objective through this, through COVID, or any other race racial. Th- Tensions 
if their objective is to divide the country, they have succeeded. And you know where there would be any division? The Democrats, because they don't want fucking Trump out of office, dude. And, and that's, it's that's both sad, sides. It's, it's it a sad why, why would the Republicans well, want this right now, though? As much as this might make me sound because like a Republican. Because it enrages their own base, and it, it, it just strengthens well, the hold on. they have on their own base. I know, but hold not, on, not, As no. much as this may make me... I get what you're saying. As much as this may make me sound like a Republican, which I don't really give a fuck anymore at this at this point in my life... I don't either. ...that it shouldn't just be about, like, beating Trump. It should be about what's best for the United States of America's citizens. It never will be, because power corrupts all, dude. Like I know, and that's why well, I say that... And, and how, the two-party system hey, is hold fucked on. Let us. me just throw out a quick it, it little really joke. Has. How fucked up and hilarious would this be, though? I don't know all the stipu- stipulations with the Constitution and all the formalities and the technicalities, but if Biden selected uh, Obama, uh, Barack Obama, not Michelle, to be his VP, and then Biden, like... Resigned, and he got it. Somehow he got elected president, and then he resigned. Can and you then, do that? Can I, you? I know, I know, I don't know. That's why I've been, I've been trying oh. to. I, I, it's just a Th- thought. This is in the guy party universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know. It was just one of those funny, hilarious, fucking people things that came across my. I'm still waiting for the punchline though. Where's it at? Well, okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, that, okay, the, so, and then, so then Obama, Obama, back then Obama in becomes president basically mm-hmm. again, and then that's when World War Three basically starts. We know he's. Yeah. So can uh, we just start putting like. LSD and ice mountain water, like Can bottle, we? like bottled water, putting trace amounts of LSD into some like, guy in Florida I think, no, tried need, to do it and he got arrested. We need to do it in the fucking. We need to put it. We need to put it in the in Congress, dude. We need to put it in every one of their tap water. And, and fucking the police too. I mean, like let's let's just get the like, police. Everybody needs to chill the fuck out and. <laughs> We need Actually, to. I don't think I want to put it in the police because they would probably just start fucking That's shooting true. the fuck out of everyone. A day and age with technology, and you can get your platform out to anybody and anyone that's going to listen. It's going to come a time where people that don't come for money are going to be elected and become into power, and maybe they'll make changes. I don't I know. know, but it's, like I would love for that to happen for poor for a person. To it's very hard property. though. To power, but it just it's not realistic. It's even it's society. even harder. But that's what I'm like. With the day and age of technology where you can make YouTube videos, you can do a YouTube campaign. You got fucking Facebook, Instagram. Cool if but you could have the sad thing is, it? The sad I, thing well, is, I, it's I, even harder for someone to come from no money and get elected from other people backing them and not be, you know, corrupted. Yeah, because you got that's the what, lobbyists that's fucking what sucks. giving these politicians. Like, we'll give you this dollars. money and we'll get you in, in, in yeah. the office if you do this. Yeah. Have you ever seen Idiocracy? Yeah, too many times. I live yeah, every day. Yeah, so like Terry Crews <laughs> is president in that movie. I forgot that he was very funny. Yeah, and he's um he he's like a former porn star, and I'm like, <laughs> could we get to that fucking point? Know, like, right? we're, yeah. we're just like voting in porn stars as president. Like I've taken loads in the face, so I could take loads for America. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I feel like that person has risen above or something. Like, yeah. they faced diversity and they overcame the ca- the cum. Yeah, may, yeah. Some, and then he's like, <laughs> some may say I'm the Jesus Christ of our day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, yeah, let's let's get like Ron Jeremy in office or something like that. Like a dude who's like who's really fucked his way to the top. At the end of the day, booze heads, all we're saying is uh, make sure to write in guy party on your fucking ballots this November. Can you imagine, like, the Fox News ticker, like, Trump's got this, Biden's got this, Sky Party's got, like, point zero zero zero. zero. Even if we had that, <laughs> even if we had that point, that point, whatever, I don't, that would be the most pivotal, <laughs> dude, I would, oh my god, I would be nutting all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we, they could just write in the Guy Party as a group, though. Well, I guess we have to have a nominee from That's Guy true. Party right now. Let's fucking make our nominee right now. Who's, who's it going to be? Well, I think Chester is most probably... Chester like, it is. Be, like, I'm with Chester. Let's fucking... Chester. Chester it is. Vote Chester, Chester. 2020, baby. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Chester of 2020. <laughs> I don't know mean to go off topic too much but i just realized that okay so i have a question though serious question why do we call it nutting when technically it's the seed of life why wouldn't we constantly always say it's this se- we're seeding all over the place instead of nutting 
I don't know where nutting comes from. That's what I'm saying. Where nut come from? It's not a nut. It's a seed. But isn't a seed a oh, part of the nut family? Oh, your nuts, maybe? Uh, uh, fuck. That's why he's our fucking elect. That's why our <laughs> fucking elect <laughs> lord. <laughs> he writes his own shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have a campaign manager. He is the campaign manager. Chester MB 2020. Oh, God. <laughs> they, do, they do everything in the worldly possible. Make sure Chester doesn't die so I don't become president. Yeah, they just assassinate you right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're like you're like on the mic. I can just see right now. You're like, hey, you got the shot, and you're like, yeah. And I don't I don't know why you're don't against Chester Dallas. for some reason. No, I know. We're not. Damn, dude, that's fucking harsh. And then dude's fucking douche. Me right hits me right in the heart, and you're like, you hit the wrong guy. You're like, no, I hit the right motherfucker. <laughs> like Chester's out on a parade and like they're all wondering where MB he should be like in the fucking car behind him but it's like two states over he's fucking like hanging out in a dumpster <laughs> they, they, they got me in my homeland I want to like a parade float like for my inauguration I want like when I'm riding down Pennsylvania Avenue <laughs> with like fucking like trannies like, with, like, like big headdresses and shit like that yeah yeah <laughs> like the drag show I could they're on so, your flip. I could so or, see like, it shitty, like, like we're shooting out like dick shaped confetti and stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like your fucking people behind you just tossing out beers to the crowd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you're right though, Brad. It does come back to just doing the small things that make you enjoy life and not let the chaos get to you. What you like you said, growing a tomato plant or a cucumber or zucchini, whatever it is, smoking yeah. some more weed, drinking some more beer, everything to take the ease off the suffering. That's why I got my animals, man. Helps me through the ground. Exactly. I've been thinking about getting me a dog here soon, but I don't know. Occasionally but but the best the thing about dog. a dog is, like, you come home, it doesn't matter how bad of a day you are, how everyone treated you, that fucking dog is happy to see you. Yeah. Like, that dog doesn't give a fuck. It's Hell just yeah. happy to see you. I've never met a human that excited to see me. Me, dude, <laughs> me neither. I'm not even excited to look in the mirror. Like That's my. what I was going to say, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 2020 Chester <laughs> Hang on I gotta think No I am old enough It's 35 I think Yeah it is 35 Yeah so I'm old enough How See, old are you 36 now, now. See yeah, me and my so. dad Talk about that shit all the time About how he He always says That he always writes himself in Which I don't ever believe Is goddamn Fucking lying ass They say a lot of people do Mickey well, Mouse uh, Well Every state I've It depends that, You can't yeah. Some some you can't Like in where I'm from In Indiana Like at least the last There's election the You couldn't punches, do it There's yeah. You can't write Right now. I'm sure it's different now because they use that like uh, punch machine where they read mm. your shit. So. But also with the 35 thing though, is what I was also gonna say that we talked about where why is it gonna be 35? Why not 30? Why not 25? Why, isn't that age? There's just at least still a little bit. It has to be ages? a write in though because there's so many fucking third party candidates. Granted, I mean, I guess maybe it comes down to money, so they're not even on the fucking ballot. But that's why there needs to be a write-in. Yeah, I don't know. That's right. what's bullshit. So, so what's going to be our platform at Sky Party, though? So, Well, you're our leader. Yeah, you're our, you're you're our your chief, own campaign so. manager. Yeah. All right. Number one has to be legal drugs, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I, that I even want to put a restriction on that. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, took that, out of my, you, know you took that out of my book, though, too. So you I, gotta, think I think we've saying, discussed this yeah, before. We've discussed it plenty I of times before. I'm pretty sure we've discussed I give before, you that because so. it's what I want for your platform and the American people. Well, I mean, I think we all want it. It's not out of your book. Really? I think no. all guy right. party You guys it. didn't use that when you said you had a choice. Back in the day when we had decisions that we were making. Well, that's why you're the vice president. Because <laughs> you give him great advice. <laughs> all right, so... I've, Can we I've, elect Brad as Speaker of the House, then? I mean, if he wants to, I think he's got to run for House of Representatives first, though. No, I, yeah, I just, right, I just want to be like, what's the right hand man where I get to hang out with the president all the time? Uh, well, you're not chief always of staff. the. No, yeah, I'll, I'll be that guy. Chief of staff. That's okay, what I was yeah, say, yeah. chief of staff. Yeah. I'm just gonna always hang out with Chester. Yeah. As far the VP, as like, the, I feel the like issue gets with the police, like, fucking... I thought about this earlier, and I think we should de-arm the police. So, uh, like, taking away the, like guns. Wait, what about rubber bullets? Rubber bullets, the works. So here's what I think we should replace it with. Oh, oh yeah. And so I think that a cop... I was training. In a situation where, there is, as long as there are no children present... Oh, my to, God. To de- de- defuse the situation, should be able to expose him or herself. <laughs> but, but, all right, what if that doesn't work? Yeah. I feel like every police officer should be fucking 
strapped with a rubber dildo. Have you ever been smacked with a foot long rubber dildo? I, I, I'm okay with foot long. <laughs> I'm okay with yeah. Why is it gonna be a foot long? All right, so dude, I had a this concert Subway, in Indiana it. about ten years ago. It's gotta be in Indiana. And the too. guy running security had like this foot long purple dildo. It was like a jelly made, you know, like. Sure. And he would just go in there and whack motherfuckers, and there's like welts all over their backs and shit. Can I get that job? It hurts. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's that. That could be like enough of a distraction to like break up a crime or a fight. To where, like, a cop, like woman a spider or man web could be able to like pull out some or tits or pull out his, his dick again, as long as children are present. Um, otherwise, I think, uh, instead of like mace or like bear spray or whatever they have, but Mr. President, I feel like you're limiting our, our police officers because if children are present, like maybe the blacks and the Mexicans will bring children with them. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're saying they're gonna work around this law? Oh I said, I'm not racist. In this <laughs> So I think they can like carry silly string, like so, silly string. Yeah, so I to I, cover up your wang. Yeah, like, like or like, like spray the children. Spray the children. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like cover them up. Oh. The base. <laughs> you spray like silly string on them. It'd be goofy. It'd be fun. So, so like uh, an officer rolls up and somebody's doing some shady shit. And they're like, "Yo, officer, I got a fucking kid." And he just pulls out his can of fucking silly strings. Yeah. He's just fucking spraying the kids in the ass. <laughs> he pulls his dick out. <laughs> yeah, blinds the kid so he can pull his dick out. And then be like, <laughs> and the guy's like what is happening? So, so, with that being said, is there more requirements for law officers? Like, do they have to have a certain size penis to shake out of <laughs> You have oh, to bring I'm, that I've actually kind of always thought this. Only black cops. Only black cops, all right. <laughs> so now it's their time to rain. Wait, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> or maybe isn't that, isn't that discriminating against the white the people? Penis then? size requirement at eight inches, and you'll mostly get black cops <laughs> out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> like, you might get a few white guys, but whatever. Hey, we're, right. we're not going to have any more not like white George guy. Floyd issues, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this white guy would be asking you, can I get like whatever you got going on down there? Instead of like the uh, racist shit, there, it's going to be like on the news, like. Four year old child saw a fucking 17 inch dong. (laughs) Was slapped in the head. (laughs) Concussion, like severe concussion. (laughs) But can you imagine, like, if, like, there's a couple dudes fighting at a bar and a cop comes out? And, like, it's a chick, and she just pulls out her pussy and starts playing with it. That's going to break up that fight pretty quick. Yeah, you know what it is. Because they're all going to just, like, sit around like, yeah, you know, what? what? <laughs> Strippers has cops. Stripper. <laughs> Stripper cops. God damn it. See, we're already making progress. <laughs> we're fixing America. If this episode doesn't go viral, I'll know. I don't, I don't think anything else deserves to. <laughs> All right, what else? What else is broken? All right. <laughs> so you, you cover... The economy. Legal weed. Yeah. Everywhere. Not legal that, weed, not... legal prostitution, tax the shit out of it, tax the shit out of the churches. Covering that. Yeah, tax churches, legal weed, legal prostitution. On the federal level, right? Not oh, the, yeah. Not the state level. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the prostitutes are going to have mass money. They're going to go buy shit that's going to create jobs. People are going to have to build houses for the prostitutes. Or tax them. Yeah, dude. Like, there we go, man. Yep. This is why then, Chester needs your vote in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for it, man. I'm 100% for it. This isn't extreme at all. I don't care who you are. I mean, I really believe a lot of this stuff, actually. No, I do, I do, too. That's the thing, man. I mean, like, for real, like... It would be decreasing violence and you'd be uplifting our souls. Could you imagine so that we if could you could just like go to life. like a liquor store and buy mushrooms? That'd yeah, be fucking cool. that would rule. And like, it, because it's controlled, you're getting good mushrooms. Yeah, not crap yeah. that right. somebody's growing in the fucking tub yeah. in their fucking right. Like, like, yeah. like the FDA gets involved in yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I probably like my like different like uh, like appointees, you know, like my secretaries and stuff like that would be people who I know have. Like, especially, like, whoever I'm appointed to the FDA is somebody who's tried all these different drugs. Well, yeah, here, Joe Rogan like, is going to have a very high office in my, in my administration. <laughs> Everyone that's been on the, in the Guy Party universe, appoint them to your staff. Like, who's going to do what and who's going to... Obviously, he's going to be your vice president. I'm your chief of staff. Right. Um, what, so, like, where are you putting Cuddly? Ooh, um... Make him the speaker. We, okay, you can't do that. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> Maybe Secretary oh, of wait, State. No, 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 no. <laughs> Make him the uh, Secretary the, of the Interior. No, no, no the, the, the correspondence or person, or whatever. Oh, the press secretary. Yes, press secretary. What, all right, where are you putting crickets? 
<laughs> he'll he'll just kind of hang with me in the background. He'll just bring you weed when you need it. <laughs> All right, what about you'll just constantly see him hanging around. He'll just be like a posse or something like that. He'll think he's he's like Secret Service, but he's not. He's, he's just hanging around, just smoking weed. <laughs> All right, what, what about Beaver? Um, I need these bad boys. They're nice. <laughs> I don't know. I need to. I need to go through like the list of like the, the my appointees now. Like, yeah, like I, I need to figure out who I'm, I'm like appointing. We'll have to revisit that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the drug tester. Because <laughs> he's, he's drug yeah, he's <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Then we got we got. You're, you're the head of the FDA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Everything passes. <laughs> the third. He's so like high signing off bills like. Yeah. <laughs> the third party uh, nominee for the president, I forget what her name is, but she's willing to disband the entire ATF. Would you do that? Oh, I'm down with that. Yeah, fucking get rid of them. More guns, more fucking... No, um, I'm a very opinionated on this one. No private prisons. I don't like the idea of... Yeah, yeah. California yeah. just... California just freaking put an end to that. Uh, like four That's or five ridiculous. days ago. ridiculous. I agree with that. Private prisons is bullshit. Because it's all profit to try to fucking yeah. help There's crime. no incentive to rehabilitate. I, yeah. It's yeah. And it's, all, it's an incentive to try to uh, create crime, not fucking stop mm-hmm. it. Right. Yeah. It, it, that's insane to me that that exists. That's probably why there's still like a stronghold on legalizing drugs because they're making so much money exactly. off drug Exactly. It's a balance that they're like, don't worry, guys. We got it here. Yeah. I'm right over here. It's the lobbyists. Yeah. So definitely that one. That's a that's a major. It's one, one big monopoly game. Yeah. Dude, I love everything you're saying. Sta- I'm definitely voting for him. Let's see, Secretary of State. So this is somebody who's going to like deal with like Ooh, foreign Secretary of State people. Like, and should should we put the coon in there for? Because like if he I was talking to mind, like yeah. different states, he could do different fucking voices. Oh, I like that. And if we that ever have true. to go to war, like he put on his macho. He does macho like, man. The shit out like, of like, Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, boo, yes. oh my god that would be amazing if we did that's right like, okay. like, for, like to build up like a war like you just had like wrestling promos <laughs> <laughs> our propaganda is way better than America right? like how we yeah. bring back mean gene from the dead like just to be like they like, yeah. like, can have him talking to the iron sheik <laughs> he has somebody dressed up as like Iraq and he does yeah. an elbow drop on him <laughs> dude he would do it dude he he's so down oh god I, I would not want to go to war, but if I had to go to war, I mean... <laughs> you geez. want him as your Secretary of State. That's that's my next question. Let's go back to policies. Like, what would you do... Say you got these radical Muslims where they're against free drugs and free prostitution. How do you Let's handle them? Let's lump in Christians as well with those Muslims because well, they're just as bad. Fair enough, but, I mean, you got the radicals, and obviously we have... The uh, stripper black cops that are going to take care of them. They'll, they won't know what to handle. And it'll expose a lot of Christians that they're really freaks. But what do yeah, we do with a country? I, I think the Catholics might, get exposed. I yeah. think it might defy the Geneva Convention. But I'm going to just drop like... LSD on the whole fucking country. Love it, love it. Oh my god, yes. Oh my dude, 2020, baby. What a great decision. What a great decision to get again. They're just like, what is this? What is this in the air? Is it raining? Next thing you know, they're all hugging each other. Yeah. Like, yeah, peace and love. Like, do that, and then like bring in just a bunch of whores. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the right. American horse to help generate the economy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So what? What's some other like policies? Immigration. That, immigration. I'm. I, I'm. I've always been like doors wide open. I don't care. Do you like maybe sign an agreement with them? Like, let's just abolish. Uh, let's just all become one. I feel like legal drugs is going to help a lot because I feel like legal <laughs> drugs is going to help like eliminate the cartels. The cartels yeah. are gone. Yeah, yeah. The cartels are gone by at this point. Yeah. Right. That's already gone by within three months of the installation. Well, of it might take a while. It's probably because like we got to get the factories going. But by his second re-election, uh, the cartels are gone because you got the factories. Right, up. and I feel like that's a big driving force for immigration is people are afraid of these cartels. Oh, absolutely. So, but yeah, I mean, I think for me, it's always been like help help these countries why are people immigrating to america in the first place let's help them fix their country so that they don't 
want to come here if that's really but if they want to come here that's fine too right on fucking everybody let's trip together yeah <laughs> let's let's best of both worlds yeah both worlds. i mean bring both. bring your cocaine both. and bring your fucking uh, bring your colombian like uh, goods <laughs> <laughs> like bring bring that bring that with you like bring, yeah I, I don't care like i mean you can't i guess you you can't necessarily have completely open borders you still have to have checks and shit like that but the idea of a fence is retarded i think that's 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 a stupid stupid idea that i, I mean it's even proven to be wrong because like people are able to easily go over it or under it i mean it's, it's just it's a, waste a waste of money, of money. yeah yeah it's, it's a fucking waste and that's why what you're saying is about helping them better their country first Right, and then if they want to still come, all right, sure, fine. Yeah, you look at the make why. it easier, an easier pathway to oh. uh, to so, get to be an American citizen. Speaking of the why, um, so talking about abortion. Wait. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so I've always said that with abortion, I feel like abortion is a solution to a problem. Mm-hmm. So people complain about that, but. You're not addressing the problem to begin with, and the problem is unplanned pregnancy. That's what I'm going to ask you. So would you, Mr. President Chester, would you implement a, or at least try to get implemented a some type of test that you have to take before you can get pregnant? Oh, absolutely. I'm all for that. I'm all for, like, serious birth control, like, not preaching abstinence in schools, preaching birth control instead. Yeah. Like, I mean, to the point yeah. where there's something actually physically, it's legal, I would, we're going to implant you with something. I think it would be something. dope as fuck if you could, like, put something, like, like take, like, all, like, like I don't know, boys or girls of a certain age and put, like, something in them yeah, yeah. to where they can't fuck and have kids. And yeah. also, yeah. condoms should just be free. Like, that, yeah, absolutely. Instead of wasting money well, on, like, the wall, to, let's make condoms to, free. Not right. everybody wants to wear condoms, though. So that's why I'm saying oh, that, like, the well, whole protective laxatives. Saying, like, like, if you could put, like, a, like a chip, the whole, like you you a chip whole, in you or something like that the, to, like, prevent you from having kids, and then once you're ready to have kids, like you said, you submit an application. To, yes, yes, you submit an application, know, yeah. you go through a testing, all this training. Right. It's fucking yeah, life You have to submit an application for a credit card. And we're like, oh, fucking, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. pop out. Yeah, yeah. 2020! <laughs> <laughs> because it's human rights. <laughs> you can't, you can't it's my right says, to do that. If this guy hasn't gave you a solid fucking platform, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but, just a 2020. But I don't think you can necessarily just, just 2020. say... You can't force birth control on people. It would never work. But... You then can you're definitely out of, make you it can't very be an American easily accessible. Citizen. You can't be an American citizen then if you don't. You if you be, don't sign on to it, you make it a law. Well, that's dictatorship, and Chester doesn't want to be that. That's not right. dictatorship, though. It's fascism. Yeah. yeah. But, but then how do you but, stop but fucking you make, morons from creating You make birth morons. control like condoms <laughs> and birth control pills not just easily accessible, but free. Birth control pills are free, but like my girlfriend has to call her doctor to get a new prescription every like couple months, and then go down to the pharmacy and pick that shit up. Like, why can't she just go down to the pharmacy and be like, "Hey, I need new birth control mm-hmm. birth control pills," and then they do that? She shouldn't have to call her doctor. Yeah, anymore. they they should have that to where you can just go just to go Walmart there and just be like, Pfft. "Yeah, yeah," and it's yeah. free. It's free. It's always free. Like, yeah, wait, like, free. It, because the pe- I mean, you're just gonna pay for it. Help control the population, man. Yeah, I mean, for the people that bitch about poor I mean, people I'm, going I'm, on I'm, welfare with all their fucking baby kids, we'll we'll think of the billion dollars he's gonna save from Trump's wall. Billions of dollars, he could just put that towards free fucking um, Birth contraceptives. Control. Yeah, yeah and, and, I agree and the with amount that. of money you're going to save on welfare programs too. That too. But you got to make sure that people he's cut welfare in half. That's what I'm saying. You got to make sure that people are using the contraceptives though. Well, we can't make sure they are, but all he can do is make it available. But you have so many of these like areas where it's they won't even accept that in schools. Like they want to preach abstinence, which obviously is doesn't that? fucking work. So. Yeah, I mean, to me, I would love, like, a system where you have to apply to have a kid. I mean, that would be much more efficient if you could make it work. But well, you have to also, apply to, uh, borders, for adoption. It does border to, on fascism. Yeah, but uh, for adoption, you have to apply to fucking get a, a, kid, a, a kid out of the True. fucking... I mean... I, I, I don't consider it a fascism. You, there's what I want, and there's what I feel like is realistic. Yeah, yeah. I know. So he's, he's got to give realistic policies. I, I know. That's why you give them an out. Abortion, mm-hmm. and then if you don't, then this, I still feel like at the end that, of the day, abortion needs to be there for rape victims. Abortion, and victims yeah. Of incest. Oh, abortion no, yeah, should be that's, free. That's the ultimate. Abortion should yeah. be. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah, hundred percent. And you shouldn't have to go through a long process to get it. If you want abortion, because with all abort, the revenue you're getting from fucking the legal drugs, I mean, yeah, man, that, fucking, that's how, that's how he's funding it. Listen, to, listen, to this crazy statistic: that three billion dollars 
came from just weed revenue from the state of California. I believe that. And that, oh, yeah. and that though, is the saddest thing possible because, listen to this also, fact right after it, is that that's only 15% of legal sales. The 85% of it is still people doing underground and black market sales because they can't use the money for real banking and stuff like that because the Fed doesn't allow it. Yeah. And that's just $3 billion. Imagine if 100% of it was illegal federally. I wonder if someone just weed right now. And that's just $3 billion. That could be $100 billion for fucking one year. I might be called sexist for this, but... <laughs> Give it to but, me. Give it to me. But I, I feel like there's this argument... Like, like, like one of the arguments around, you know, being pro-abortion is that it's my body, my choice, right? Yeah. So why does that not apply to drugs? It's my body, it's my choice. If I want to poison my body with well, drugs, why I agree. is that not well, how my is that choice? Sexist? How's that sexist? I don't know. I also feel, <laughs> I also feel the same way about prostitution. You're actually it's my with body. Them. If I want to yeah. sell yeah. it, exactly. If I, if I want to sell my butthole, if I want to rent out my yeah. butthole, you can make money on Airbnb. <laughs> like <laughs> I thought when you were we saying can, we, we can the give statement sperm. that you were like, this is gonna be sexist. I thought. It because was, I'm comparing it to abortion and women's rights. But I, I thought you were about to make it a, a school requirement to watch Married with Children. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're right. You can't graduate unless you've watched all ten seasons. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the, that's when you can have a baby. <laughs> all right. I'll add that to my platform. Why not? <laughs> because, like, it's you, in the curriculum you can, now. You can well, what do they call it? Earmarks where they slide it in? <laughs> <laughs> Because you can I'll sell your sperm for like something really like off the wall, like, <laughs> like that's nothing to do with it. Like funding, uh, I don't know, like fucking like a hurricane, like victims. <laughs> yeah, you just slide that in there. <laughs> <laughs> then the following year, twenty twenty two, there'll like... be another Hurricane Katrina, and I'll be, like just put it in there. Like this bill is to help the victims of Hurricane. Victor or something like that. Like, they got to watch ten seasons starting in second grade. After you learn how to read, you have to watch a season per fucking school year. <laughs> it's a whole class. Okay? Yeah, it's like you have history, math, married with children. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yo, dude, when do you got married with children? Oh, dude, that's seventh period. <laughs> That'd be the best time to do it because seventh period is always last period. Yeah. That'd be the dopest time to have it because then you'd just be watching. Watching fucking a cool show at the end of your day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what would be even cooler is if you had like sixth period study hall and seventh period marry with children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like fifth period gym, sixth period study hall, seventh period marry with children. It's like I only have like half of a real day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> You know what, uh, and this is a serious one too, like, I, I, I know with a lot of schools, there's a lot of funding removed from, like, arts and music and things yeah. like that, and I would put that back into those those kinds of things, because... I would too. Like, arts and music, I feel like, is important. It's important to teach people to be creative, because otherwise, you just teach people to be, like, cogs in a machine. Yep. And, and That's what I was trying to get to about the whole cogs and machine striving for the whole dollar currency shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, we need more funds into the arts and, and, and music and things like that in school. Like, bring back those programs, fund those programs, fund after school programs uh, that, that have to deal with arts and, uh, and music and entertainment and creativity. Because, I mean, there's a lot of, like, places, especially inner cities, where, you know, parents may need. Like daycare that they can't afford. Daycare is another one, big one. I would I would totally fund free daycare. I would totally be about free Medicare and free health care. Like I would rather fund that shit than oh, like an inflated military budget. Yeah, because if you can give sell your sperm and sell your plasma, why can't you sell your sexual organs? Are you talking about cutting all your off your dick and selling it? No, I'm talking <laughs> about prostitution. Oh, you mean selling your body for sex? Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. I said it in a weird way. Yeah, no, I thought you said t selling your organs. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I know, I didn't, I didn't mean to say it like that. I mean, if I can sell a ball and, and like, make, like, I don't know, like, 30 or 40 grand off of it, I'd probably do that. Oh, yeah, I would definitely do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's fucked up, is it? That's how bad we are, a slave to the dollar, is that we're like, we would sell one of our fucking, fucking testicles for 30 or 40 grand. Yeah, and, I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't feel like that would change. 
I mean, you could move to a, towards a system like more like socialism, like like they call they they talk about democratic socialism, where you the, the balance of power, the balance of like money shifts more towards the middle class, maybe. Um, but there's still you're still going to have dependency upon the dollar. Like you might have a more empowered middle class. Well, with at least there would be. At least there would, I'm not saying it has to be so much to call it a socialistic idea because I don't think it's socialistic unless there's more more control of the uh, of the division of the wealth. And I don't think that's exactly how it would be. I think it'd be a regulatory of how much you can when you make a certain you'd be capped out on how much a certain make you would make a year, and then that gets re 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 put into the community or uh, into your. Oh, yeah. Company or something like that if you own a company. Yeah, it's and insane it, to think that, like, they, they've talked about um, Bezos possibly becoming at some point in his lifetime the first trillionaire. I thought there's already been a trillionaire. No. No, there's no there's no trillionaire. Really? I thought there was a couple Saudi oil uh, owners that no, have uh, been pretty no rich. There's no trillionaire. Really? I thought... Uh, yeah. No, no, a trillion is a lot of fucking money. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Like, like, countries... A lot of countries don't have that in their budget. Yeah. Like, if you're a trillionaire, you probably have more money than, like, the fucking Congo or something. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bezos is... The fact that one person can have that kind of money to where you have more money than a lot of, like, third world countries have, maybe even combined. Mm-hmm. That's insane. That is in-fucking-sane. Uh-huh. And so, like, yeah, you're talking about, like, income caps. I... I mean, I'm not saying. I'm, I mean, that's a controversial thing. It is, but and I'm not saying it. I'm 100 percent for it, but it's just, it's it's hard to. Oh, are you getting rid of income tax? And I'm talking about income. Oh, caps. I would definitely say um, get rid of it. I would say get rid of property tax of all things. Property yeah. tax. Property tax should not be legal. That is fucking bullshit. You should be able to own a land outright and not to pay on it every yeah. fucking year. All right. Yeah. Like I mean, we need an income tax. We need taxes somehow. But yeah, property tax. I'm with you on the that. The death tax is pretty. Fu- the st- yeah. Estate tax. Is yeah. Pretty fucked that's. Up. A, I mean, what we should be more is um, capital gains should be taxed at a higher rate, like where you're just making money off the stock market. Yep. Um, and I'm saying it shouldn't go any higher than like 20, 25 percent. Oh no! Like if we're gonna do property taxes, twenty twenty, it shouldn't be no more than ten percent. Because there are some counties, like over in Indiana, where I'm from, it's got the highest fucking property taxes in the tri-state. <laughs> there you go, crickets. <laughs> mm-hmm. But if I was president, I want to put out there also that I would be willing to be the first president to show my dick in public. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If, That's if, not if, what if I thought public, you were going to say at all. If I don't the public even know was, like was demanding enough, I would do it. <laughs> that, makes me, that makes me think of that first episode of uh, Black Mirror when the dude gets fucked by that, or he fucks that pig Could you imagine if, like, Obama was all like, yeah, I'll show my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what happened. Like, and then Trump's like, I'll show my dick. Like, you no, got all the, cool. <laughs> the Christians. They're like, oh, my God. Chester, no, no, like he's destroying our fucking good God fearing country. And then they're like in the crowd, and you just fucking stand past the podium and you just unzip your fucking drawer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even pull it out, you just drop your fucking pants in there. <laughs> and then you drop an LSD tab and you do a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you just walk back hey. over. Guy party. <laughs> he, he has a. He has a How fast did I get fucking impeached? <laughs> no way, no way. Is there is there laws to impeach off that? You didn't lie under oath. I mean, well, or? they can impeach basically for anything. Oh, well, yeah, it would just be a waste of fucking tax dollars. Oh, yeah, I know. It's fucking bullshit. I'd be like, this is a witch hunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I express my freedom of nudity. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> fucking Brett Favre sending dick pics. <laughs> I mean, I guess they can get you for public indecency. I don't know if there's, like, a state without that law. But if that's... I just put it on a porn site, is what I mean. I wouldn't do it in, like, in front of a bunch of like, oh, people. Oh, uh, also when you do it, like, yeah, Or maybe, like, like, like in a, a ladies, like, night strip club or something like that. <laughs> like, it'd be, like, Chippendales, and it'd be, like, all of a sudden, like, they'd do that, like, presidential music, like, that da 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 And they'd be, like, we have a special guest, da, ladies! No way! <laughs> yeah! You see all these videos, like, when they're tearing down Trump, he's out golfing. Like, all your videos are, like, strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Our president was always strip clubbing. 
Like, elect this cock, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I get the women's vote, like, hand out. Oh, my God. <laughs> or Jesus. I don't. I, I'm just, like, so offended by it, like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, right, and then they, but get, they, all, they get molds made out of your dick to they fucking all get jerk closet themselves off, too. Yeah, that's true. Like, I have, like, a dildo. Like, there's a dildo in, like, The presidential stores, like, dildo. <laughs> the presidential dildo. <laughs> Jesus. That's what would... It's, like, red, white, and blue with, I'm like, just, stars on it and not shit. To switch complete, not to switch complete people, but that's exactly what I could see happening if they're, when the first female fucking president is, like, they, they're going to try to promote, like, a dildo that this Madam President used this dildo, use what she used. Oh, I was thinking, like, a fucking, like, pocket pussy or something like that, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, like, the first, like, president endorsed by Fleshlight. Yeah. <laughs> I just want that to happen now so badly to be a, a woman president and she gets caught like jerking off like in the bedroom by one of the, the security ta- the what Secret Service? Yeah, Secret Service. Yeah. And then it goes fucking on the black market and everyone's like able to see her. This message was supported by Donald Trump. The years would be like this message was supported by a flashlight. <laughs> you can find it at all your local retailers. Ace Hard- Ace Hardware. I, I see like sites like Pornhub like trying to like get stadium deals where they can like name a stadium after their, their like Pornhub Stadium or whatever. I'm willing to accept your contributions, Pornhub.com. <laughs> like if if you want to if you want to donate to my political campaign, I'm all about it. Let's make this happen. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, Chester 2020 baby. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just think of some like more like fucking talking points for our, our next guy party pod yeah come up with a speech yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well shit on that note you guys got anything else man i'm about flushed out man fuck the police fuck the, po- fuck the police <laughs> guy party guy party if you guys uh still listening to us you know where to check us out tell your friends check us out on you know all that social media bullshit and then um yeah, keep drinking, keep partying, keep fucking Chester 2020. Fuck it out. Chester 2020. <laughs> Guy Party! 2020!